Right, hopefully my sound will be working now. My sound went a bit funny before. V, the final backup is now the final V, the third part V of the third of the series. As I said, Diana was mind breaking Mike. He had to admit he was Martin. Diana runs away like a wimp. And they get into the thing. The fence. Lucky enough, the fence has another end where they've got parachutes. And they just parachute out of there. That's like that. It's a bit of dud. A bit cool. Um, the baby alien. The weird one. The one that looks like. Let's get it out again. Looks like that. Well. That. Basically. Um, that dies. But then they find out basically what killed it was a certain blood. What the little girl, who later because the star child, had. And that blood can turn into what they call red dust, what can kill all the visitors, wipe them all out, wipe them the fuck out. Doesn't harm us, but it's a killer on them. Um, the star child can get bitter and bitter and bitter. At first there's a little toddler, then suddenly she turns into a little doe. And if you've ever seen a film called Troll, the little doe called Troll, she's the same actress who plays the star child in this. It's a good film, I might review that one next. But um, yeah, she's the same little doe. They adopt um, the father who, of the little doe, the visitor, and they dye the, the red dust on him. Kills him. Robin is the one that kills him. He does that. She actually kills him, the father of the kid. That's when they know basically the red dust can kick ass, but it doesn't harm us. But the downfall there is the priest adopts the little girl. Diana's got the little girl, the star child. And what they do is, apart from getting Mike getting his son back, they go in these brooms, air brooms, fire in the air. Drop all the red dust and all the visitors basically do one. They all do one except for Diana. She has this machine where she can press it, she can fucking new all of us. She can fucking kill every one of us just by newting us. It's a bit like Pressacant. If a Pressacant feels he's got to use his little bit of fame, his power, he can just fucking new us. No fucking about. She can do the same. Bit of fighting that. So. What she does, she's going to do that. And the assistants manage to get into the muffler ship to get Diana. They ruin Diana's arm. But I love the scene before that. Diana shoots that, that president, the one who makes the pretty speeches. It sort of reminds me of our Prime Ministers, really. A bit like Boris Johnson with his pretty speeches. Um, she shoots him, kills him. She even says to the line, all you ever do is make pretty speeches. And I'm thinking, yeah, sounds like our Prime Minister, that. And um, Diana manages to use some power herself to mind right that doula escapes, fires off in the muffler ship, and gets away. They think the muffler ship's going to blow up, but lucky enough, the star child uses special powers. Some people say it's cheesy now, but I like it. You know, it had a charm to it. She has these special powers. That's why they call her the star child. Saves the day, happy ending. That's into when the TV series come out, if I can remember where I put that. The TV series, I can't be asked picking it up, fucked it up because I think it should have just ended like that. Don't get me wrong, I like the TV series as a time race though. But I felt it should have just ended like that because it was a beautiful ending. I love to see where the little girl says, Do me tay, and they say to one of the visitors, who's a dud one, what does that mean? And she smiles and says, it means peace. And I love the way the mother ships go. And it's a happy ending. And sometimes I like a happy ending. It's a lot better than the fucking ending on the fucking remake, believe me. So, not the reason why I didn't like the TV series after all that. It made all the shit they went through fucking pointless. But I do... Don't mind it, you know, can watch it as a time race though. It's like, cool, Diana's eating a rat or whatever. And she's got the original trash in it. You've got Robert England, Mike Singer and all the others. And Am has a lot more to do. He's one of my favourite characters. 
But other than that, that's V, part V, the review. And I hope to do some more. Until then, take care, be safe, and government, stop making pretty speeches.